Two teams ready, they hope, to clear the final hurdle. The routes to this stage have been fascinating, but now it is Europa League final night, and the fans are beginning to pour into the stadium. It's Barcelona. They take on West Ham United, and it's live. And the big night has arrived. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It's Barcelona up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, this should be a top-class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to call. This is what we think for Barcelona. Mark and Reiter Stegen starts in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. starting lineup for West Ham United well on paper they look a very balanced team but the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward otherwise they might just lack a bit of penetration It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. And West Ham in a position of menace. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Antonio for Niles cross could be useful but he dealt with that ball played in rather well well if you're the opposing defender you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erling Haaland what are you expecting to see from him in this game Stuart? well Derek he's a great all-round player but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat and when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper he usually scores Holland. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Barcelona, free kick. It'll be here. And he whips it in. Well, still an issue here. And I think the threat has been averted. Antonio. In possession, Bowen. Encouraging move from West Ham. And they've won the ball back following that challenge. Holland. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. 
Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. A poor cross, all things considered. It's a Barcelona corner. comes no nonsense clearance this is looking threatening Tempele hold on and the snuffing out of the cross there gives it a go and a goal from Barcelona as they take the lead in the final and just listen to their supporters. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. get the ball moving again will there be a quick reply from them there needs to be nicely timed tackle Torres it needs an accurate cross and he keeps going Ferran Torres back to Holland. De Jong. can he do it? He's blocked it! Declan Rice. Rice with it. And you can sense the threat is there. They're trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Torres on the offensive very comfortable when in possession could be troublesome going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss and a goal kick will be next Kick awarded. So inching towards half time, and Barca with the lead. Stuart, what strikes you about what they put into the first half? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. Options in the centre. Rice. And the ruling is offside here.
Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Poland, defensive efficiency personified. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Torres. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Oh, it might be! And the keeper throws himself at the ball. about the delivery can they keep it out and the keeper was finally able to claim it well what a great piece of goalkeeping firstly the save and then the recovery brilliant from him well just couldn't keep the ball Sergio Busquets and Torres on the ball and beating the defender well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it for Niles on the ball Mikael Antonio and that was a very fine read Frankie de Jong Superbly to take back possession. Theme emerging of wasted possession. Erling Haaland. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. This looks interesting. Good looking cross. Well, the clearance half hearted. Sergio Busquets and he takes on the shot well just over the crossbar excellent effort there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches. Jared Bowen. And on the ball, Vlasic. Won it back. Frankie de Jong, Ricky Puig, they do pass the ball with authority, shot detected, keeper getting the touch, oh a great chance it was, goalkeeper has it. Well what a great save that was to keep them in this, may just be the impetus they need as they certainly haven't been at their best today. Well, visionary passing. Taking care of business defensively here. Ricky Puig. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. De Jong. PK with it. Holland. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Holland, and now passing it through, in it goes, but it will not stand, offside Stewart. Well it looked close didn't it, he certainly thought so, he's making that clear to the linesman now.
Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Ricky Puig. Excellent defending. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Ten minutes left for play. A creative look about this. De Jong. An incisive pass. Well read to ease the pressure. He's lost possession. And unable to keep the ball. Garcia. Sergio Busquets. De Jong. Dembele on the ball. It has to be! And just over the bar. Really good effort. now make use of the substitute bench. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. And my goodness, they deserve it. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. Well, relief and joy, I would say. What a great achievement this is, and so well deserved, as you mentioned. They were excellent tonight. What a good performance that was. The party can certainly start now. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. I'm very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, these are always great moments for any player. This is the culmination of a great tournament they've had. They fully deserve this victory. Every player played his part tonight. This is what they wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Well, wonderful scenes. The players are making the most of this. It's been a great competition for them. Yeah, I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left. Why not? Yes. And now they get to enjoy the moment with the fans who have made the journey here for the final. Well, they'll be loving this. They really have backed their team throughout this competition. They have a great bond with the players, don't they? That's lovely to see. Yes, it is all about a shared experience. These celebrations will run long into the night.